made this slice, this slice cut out and could put it on this plate. This is the clay I bought, you'll need some clay. Or maybe if you want to use your Play-Doh, you can. It's still a little soft when it dries. That actually feels good, I like this. And um, I bought this pink ones, there's blue one. And if you open it, you can find these things. Uh, you can find a knife. I don't think this will cut you after all. And you can find the, like a, something you use with paint, but this is a flat and mark right here. And then you can find some molds. We have a car mold. Yeah, this is a flower. I don't know what this is. It might be a necklace, like something. Why does this have a hole? Isn't it a necklace? This one has a hole too. Um, the, I think this is a mouse. And this is some um, some. I don't. I don't. I'm not going to say it's a chicken because that was, is that even a beak? Hmm. Um, okay, okay, we don't know what that is. They're in little flowers, so cute. And we have a boat mold, and we have this tool, this little wavy knife or something. And then let's just start with this thing. Okay, I'm just going to find the colors and tell you which colors. You can just find something that would seem like this color, the cake dough. You can find something similar to the real thing. You can find whatever you like. I use this. Okay, I'm just going to use this yellow right here. I'm going to make a smaller one because this is really flat and big. Or the plate will be very big if you even want a plate. Okay, so I got this yellow out. You would probably use a little if you're the same as me going to take it like to school i'm going to use this part and then i'm going to put it back so it doesn't dry and this is air dry clay i hope it is i'm just going to make the uh thing you know the cake the cake and later you're going to put on frosting. You're just flattening it and then put it on. But make sure it's big enough for your cake. Or else. Uh, the way you make this cake is you put it like into a, like a little cake shape like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you put your fingers here and then put your two fingers like that. And then twist it around and you can make it half ever flat you want. Oh Jesus. Okay, I'm going to make my cake a uh, smaller. Uh, maybe a little more. Um, uh, I'm just going to find the color and put this back. And I'm going to use this. Maybe a little more. I don't want to use all of my clay or our class, I will be very embarrassed. I like arts and crafts, you know? Okay, now, starting off with our beautiful little cake. And you just roll it around. You don't have to do it this way. I just like it this way. I like to make it this way. Make it. Hmm, I would get that a little. There we go. And you can see my beautiful cake shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Everything doesn't always come out perfect. We're not even perfect. We're all not perfect. Yeah. And you can pick a color for your cake frosting. Hmm. Actually, this time, maybe I'll pick a blue. Because I don't want to waste all of the other purples. And um, I'll use this blue, maybe. Um, maybe a lighter blue. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm going to use this blue, this blue right here, this blue for the frosting, and I just need a little teeny bit. There. I'm using this little teeny bit, and if it looks small, you'll find out later. Big words! Play. Play dough. Dough. Frosting. And you can see my beautiful cake shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Everything doesn't always come out perfect. We're not even perfect.